All right, in this episode, I'm going to be demonstrating the lift and extract functions that you have on the program monitor over here. Over on this monitor, we've already shown how to do the insert and overwrite functions right here, which is a little bit similar to this, but kind of different, of course. So your insert, of course, when we were talking, let's grab a little clip right here just to kind of demonstrate quickly the insert and overwrite. We're down on our timeline here. I'm going to get between an edit here. And uh, with this, let's make this clip re really, really long. So watch what happens with this long clip. As I hit period to overwrite, watch what it does. It eats into everything in its path. I'm going to undo that, and I'm going to show you insert. If you hit insert, which is comma instead of period for your shortcut, comma is going to insert that and shove everything else down. It doesn't eat everything in its path. Now, with lift and extract here, the shortcuts for that, by the way, are semicolon for lift and extract is the quotation mark right next to the semicolon, to the right of the semicolon. To use these functions properly, you need to do endpoints and outpoints inside your timeline. We showed you how to do endpoints and outpoints inside of your source monitor, but this is going to be specifically in your timeline. I'm going to hit Shift 3, and we're going to ex extract a portion of a scene. Let's go to the end of this right here. Let's go to this part where he opens up the newspaper right there. And say we want to have this part where he opens up the newspaper, and we want to cut that little portion right out of there. What we can do is we can, on our timeline, we can use our shortcuts I and O. Uh, let's get this to the beginning where we want it to start right there before he opens up the newspaper. Hit I for endpoint, and we play through it. O for outpoint. Now lift and extract can actually have power over this uh, in and out point inside of your timeline. If you hit lift or your semicolon, watch what it does. It lifts that clip out of there. It basically cuts the, the clip out of there and it has it ready to paste. So now if I want to go to the, let's go to the end of my timeline here. I hit end and I hit control V. It'll actually paste that clip that I just that I just lifted out of there. So this is basically like a, like a cut, copy, and paste. These two functions are like cut, copy, and paste. It'll pull a portion of a clip out and get ready to paste it. If you want to do an entire clip, I'm going to clear my in and out points. I'm going to do control, shift, X on a PC, and option or alt, X on a Mac. We'll clear out, out, in and out points completely. So let's say we want to extract this entire clip right here. Uh, what you could do is actually just do a control X and cut. You can select this and do a control X and cut, and then you can move to the end of your timeline and control V to paste. But just to kind of fully demonstrate how this works here, the lift and extract, you would have to do I for endpoint, arrow down, and notice this is one frame past. This is on the next frame of the, of, it's on the first frame of the next clip. So I'd have to arrow back one frame out point, it's going to take that entire clip now, and I'm going to do lift. So lift, it just cut it out. We want to move that to the end, control V or command V and paste inside my timeline here, and it pastes it at the end. Let's show you extract now. With extract, let's cut a portion out of this clip right here. I'm going to put in point, out point. We're just going to take that portion right there. Let's say we want to take that out, but we also want to fill the gap. That's what the extract does. If you hit lift, watch, it leaves a gap. I'm going to undo. If you hit extract, it extracts that out and it actually fills this in. It's like a kind of like a ripple cut there, if you will. So I'm going to go to the end of my clip now, do control V, do control V and paste that. And there it is. And that's basically what the lift and extract do. They're not as commonly used as the insert and the overwrite, but once in a while that'll come in handy if you're trying to just take a portion of usually a portion of a clip and move it to a different part of the timeline. And you can either use lift, which will leave the gap and extract, which will actually fill the gap.